Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening to you. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Uh, we do have a swath of snow that's going to be coming from the northwest and a little bit in the central U.S. And we also got a storm. That low pressure system is moving on the east coast. It is going to drop some snowfall for the southeast. I will go through that. Uh, we're showing different amounts according to the euro and the GFS. So this will literally... This will literally be a 48-hour storm. So I'm going to go through all the uh, impacts and all the information that I found for you. I uh, hope you all have a great day today. Uh, if you've never been here before, hit that subscribe button. I do upload every single day. And on the top, you got the Euro uh, snowfall every hourly. And on right below that, right above my head, you have the GFS uh, hourly of the snowfall. You can see how there's totally two different amounts. That's because the GFS is showing it pulling out a little bit sooner and heading uh, east into the Atlantic. And the Euro shows that it hugs up to the coast a little bit longer. So let's go through what we have. Once again, hope you have a great day. Hit that like button for me, guys. Now, literally within the next few hours, we got we got thunderstorms that's building up from the dew points, big high dew points in the 60s all the way across the, the Gulf states. And then there's a surface low pressure that's building up right in the Gulf of Mexico. And it's going to get stronger as it crosses over Florida. Now, we'll bring... Some heavy rain to Florida. It will bring some hail and some tornado possibilities as it passes by, but it also will bring snowfall to the southeast. A lot of you will see it. Only some of you will see it accumulate. Then it's going to head up to the northeast, and it's going to drop even more snowfall, guys. So let me go through what I have for you. You got your, surf, your low pressure right over Wyoming, and then literally within the next 48 hours, it's going to track to Colorado, and it's going to put some uh, snowfall for Wyoming, for Montana, and then it's going to go from Nebraska to Kansas and head east a little bit. I will show you, it will only be about one to three inches. Now, there is going to be a light snowfall for the northwest as well as the central. All the way from now to Monday morning is how long it's going to take for the system in the northeast to move away. And until then, you're going to have about one to three inches, mainly in Montana. You will have some in Wyoming. A lot of it will be in the higher elevations. And it will pass along and park pretty much in Colorado, but it's still pulling that moisture up into the, the cold temperatures coming down from the Arctic air. So Nebraska, you will see some snowfall heaviest right in central, about three inches. And also for southern Iowa, northern Kansas, northern Missouri, and western Illinois. But it will be just a swath of snow, about one to three inches for everybody. And it, here's a good shot all the way till Monday, Monday morning. And you see how everybody is going to see snow. <laughs> You're going to see it falling. It's going to be very light amounts for a lot of people. But you will see it's falling, but it will not stick. Uh, maybe a frost <laughs> look on your grass, but that's about it. Uh, these states right here, that's about the only ones that's going to see it accumulate. And a little spot on uh, western Michigan and northern Michigan. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has put out a warning for the southeast uh, right here. And all this green is going to be a lot of precipitation. It's going to be a lot of rainfall. And you've got a special spot right here in Florida that's going to get some severe weather. Uh, if you look right here also, the tornado outlook is going to be right here for Florida, uh, more, mostly northern to right above Miami. There's going to be a little area of severe storms. There's going to be some strong Cape values. And this could be a possibility for tornado and hail. And here's your hail outlook as well for the storm storm as it passes by for Florida. And here's your wind look outlook. And now I did look into the winds and they looked mostly about 25 to 35 miles per hour. I didn't see anything damaging like 50 or 60 or even 40. Now early tomorrow morning, guys, very early Sunday morning, there's going to be a, a surface low pressure is going to build up and get 1,007 millibars right below Mississippi off the edge of Louisiana. All these dew points is bringing a lot of moisture up. And you do see some people has a little bit of drizzling, freezing rain. But there is a chance of a pocket for snow. And that's just for this storm. This isn't the one that's coming later for the south. This is just a system that's moving through now. It will be a quick mover. And you see some severe storms that's going to be in southern Georgia. Also what's moving through Florida. And as time goes by, another six hours tomorrow around noontime, you see as more precipitation and snowfall right there. I will go through it through Tennessee, uh, South Carolina, Georgia. But these storms will be over Florida as well as this low pressure system literally moves right over you. So it's going to be a lot of humidity. It's going to be a lot of dew points. Some, it's, it gives it a lot of chance for a convective activity. So it, that's why you're on a tornado watch for this area. And the hail, of course, is for the hail cores that, that's going to come with these cells. Now, tomorrow morning, you're going to have very strong dew points uh, over Florida. That's why you're in this area. Look how strong. It's high 60s, almost 70 uh, for southern 
southern Florida, right below Tampa area. But there's a lot of dew points in here. There's going to be a lot of moisture. There's going to be a lot of lift. And as you get into tomorrow around noontime, it's still all these high dew points. So it's, it's going to be a lot of rainfall uh, for Florida. And this is why you do have a, a bad, bad watch for tornadoes. Sunday evening is still going to be strong dew points. So you really need to watch out for tornadoes for Florida all day long tomorrow. And especially the rainfall, especially for the north to northwest, it looks like it's going to be your strongest pocket. And here's the Cape values for your chances for tornadoes, where the convective energy is for, for tornadoes for tomorrow. And this is early tomorrow morning. You can see right, right off the west coast of Florida. But throughout the day, it will move through, and it'll start moving down southern Florida. But your biggest, strongest chance for convective activity will be mostly central to northern Florida. And with the wind chills, you can see how it's very hot and very humid in Florida. But also, you can see how some of this precipitation will turn into snowfall for northern, Miss northern Alabama and northern Georgia. However, with the surface, uh, the surface temperatures barely above freezing, not a lot of it's going to stick. You will see it fall, but not a lot of it will stick. But once again, heavy precipitation for this storm as it moves through, and the heaviest spot looks like it is in Florida. Mostly around Gainesville for a little over an inch and a, inch and a half, and a little west of Gainesville, Gainesville and a little south of Gainesville is a little over two, almost three inches of rainfall. That's flash flooding status, so be careful for northern Florida. Tampa, you're going to get almost two inches yourself. So this is going to be a good bit of rainfall as the system moves directly over you and here's the accumulated snowfall like I said this whole area will see some <laughs> snowfall coming down but as far as it sticking or any of that you won't have any accumulation it will be like a light frost maybe in your grass for these counties but mostly northern northern Georgia uh, right above Atlanta is the heaviest with a couple inches two to three as we get towards noontime uh, tomorrow, this system is going to move over to Carolinas. And this is going to bring some more precipitation spin around to these cold temperatures, bringing some more snowfall, uh, possibly for Tennessee, western North Carolina, also for southern Virginia as well. And here's a good shot from the east coast so you can see where the surface low pressure is and all this moisture is going to be dropping in this area. But However, the temperatures will not quite be cold enough for a good snowfall, but with the wind chill, they will be. And you can see the temperatures, they're well freezing, you know, for the surface low temperatures for western uh, North Carolina. But everybody else, Tennessee, South Carolina, northern Georgia, everybody's right above freezing, right around 33, 34 degrees. But with the wind chill factor, it puts all this well below freezing. That's why you're going to see snowfall come down. It just won't stick to the ground, uh, especially on the cement. But you might have a chance in the grass. But, but central to eastern Tennessee... You get well below freezing, 29 to 30 degrees, so you have a good chance for it accumulating, especially western North Carolina. And for tomorrow morning, as the system goes through, this is the accumulation you're going to get within the six hours from tomorrow morning to about tomorrow around noon. It will be uh, central to eastern Tennessee with the heaviest with just a couple of inches, three at tops, and also western uh, North Carolina. The tip of South Carolina shows about an inch. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to drag too far where it covers a full upstate. Mostly it's going to be on the edge of the Carolina. And at this point, by this afternoon into tomorrow at noon, this is a total accumulation of snowfall that we're going to be having in this area. And you can see the light amounts of people that will see uh, some snowfall come down because of the wind chill temperatures. However, there won't be no accumulation. You will see it. That's about, all, about as far as that's going to go. As we get into the afternoon tomorrow, the system is going to start moving towards North Carolina and Virginia. This is where it starts slipping away a little bit to the east, which is good. You're going to see a lot less freezing rain and a little more snowfall because of the temp because of the warm temperatures that's in the center of this cyclone. It will be moving away with it. So it will be able to whip around, have a chance for the cold temperatures to come on in and freeze that up for you to some good snow. And the GFS is even concurring that it is it will be here by tomorrow in a little bit of early afternoon. So it is moving directly together, GFS and Euro. It's just GFS is pulling away a little bit early and is showing lesser amounts. And you can see the temperatures uh, tomorrow, early afternoon for, for Sunday, you can see the round edge of freezing, 33, 34 degrees for a lot of people. Uh, especially North uh, North Virginia and North Carolina when the system is moving through. But with the wind chills coming in, it puts it well below freezing, almost 26, 27 degrees for Virginia, uh, especially Maryland, Southern Maryland, and Southern Delaware. So this will give you a chance for the snowfall to accumulate because of the freezing wind chills. 
And within a six-hour time span, you still got precipitation come all the way back around for Tennessee. You got another one to three inches accumulating. Also, West, West North Carolina, West Virginia, uh, West Virginia a little bit, but Western Virginia and Central Virginia uh, gets the heaviest. It looks like this whole strip from Central Tennessee all the way towards Maryland and South Jersey is going to have the heaviest out of this snowfall. And the total accumulations is starting to add up, especially for central Tennessee. You're talking six to eight inches already. So that's good snowfall. Now, by Sunday afternoon, it's going to be parked up right, below, right outside of Maryland, southern Jersey, right below Connecticut. And it's going to be 993. It's going to be a pretty strong system. But now it's going to start moving to the east and moving away, which is a good thing. You're going to start seeing more snow and less of that rain and freezing rain. But you can see for the first six hours, that you're in rain for Virginia, you're in freezing rain uh, for parts of Maryland and southern Delaware, but everybody else is going to be seeing snowfall. The GFS agrees that it is going to be parked right there at that time tomorrow afternoon, but it is going to pull away sooner for the GFS, and the Euro shows it stays a little bit longer. Now here's your temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. You can see how southern Jersey is right on the edge of freezing, but not quite there. Uh, as well as uh, Rhode Island. You're right on the edge of freezing, but not quite there. And Mel uh, Maryland, De Maryland, Delaware, y'all a little bit warmer at 34, 35 degrees. And Virginia, you're getting really warm. But with the wind chill temperatures, it puts you well below freezing, 25, 26 degrees for everybody I just mentioned, except for Virginia uh, and Western Maryland, you're right around 30 degrees. But everybody is, is well below freezing temperatures with these wind chills, and that's why you're going to see it turn to snow. Now, for these six hours from tomorrow around noon till tomorrow afternoon, you're going to have a good swath of heavy snow anywhere from eastern uh, Virginia, uh, also eastern Maryland, Southern uh, Maryland as well, uh, Southern Delaware, Southern New Jersey, as well as Long Island. It's, it's going to be a lot of good snowfall that's going to be falling just within the six hours before it pulls away. With the total accumulation at this point, just doing a nice long track of heavy major snow for anywhere from six to eight inches from central Tennessee all the way to the edge of Maryland right before Delaware. Then it starts going down a little bit more from four inches uh, all the way to, to Long Island to, till four inches. This is going to be a good swath of heavy snowfall for this one area. Now, if it was a, according to the GFS, it'd pull away a, a sooner and it'd be less snowfall. And when it pulled away sooner, according to the GFS, it didn't have a chance to put more heavy precipitation over Tennessee. Central to northern, we'll see heavier uh, snowfall, but the south Tennessee to southeast won't see what the Euro shows as good snowfall because it's pulling away sooner and that puts lighter amounts for virginia as well but everybody else the same amounts is still showing now early monday morning it's going to strengthen to a 986 but it's already going to be on the edge of leaving the new england states at this point the only people that may see snowfall would be rhode island southeast massachusetts a little bit of new hampshire and maine and like i said the gfs shows it pulling away a lot sooner and it's not really showing anything except maybe on the back side for Vermont or northern New Hampshire. That's about it. For that full six hours from Sunday night till Monday morning, there will be a couple more inches that will drop with the heaviest amount being in Rhode Island and southeast Massachusetts. And everybody else is just going to get about an inch more of snow. And the GFS agrees that it does pull away, but it still shows that it will be at least two to four inches for Rhode Island and southeast Massachusetts. But it's not as widespread as, as Euro was showing. And that is literally the next 48 hours, guys. That's all the way until Monday morning what's going on with this system. I told you it was going to be quick. There's not much really to talk about this system. It's going to be a fast mover. It's going to be in and out quick. Now, whether it has heavy snowfall, that's, that's, that's the... That's, that's debatable. Euro is showing it is heavier snowfall, but if it starts pulling off quicker on off the East Coast, it is, it is going to be less snowfall for people such as Northern Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Southern Jersey. It would be less for y'all if, if the GFS is correct and it pulls away sooner. Y'all will not see it. Now, we'll update these storms in the morning as well as that south snowstorm that's still showing that it is still coming. It will be snow. It will be a lot of ice. I will update it in the morning. So God bless you all today. Hope you all had a great Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, I want to pray with y'all real quick. Bless our Lord. That's something I want to share with y'all. And I'm going to read Ephesians chapter 1 from verses 15 through 23. That's what I want to read you today. 
Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe, according to the working of his, his mighty works, which he wrought in Christ, when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And hath, put, and hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which in his body the fullness of him that filleth all in all. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your help. Without you, we would have nothing. Y'all continue on with y'all Saturday. Y'all have a great day today. All glory does go to God. Amen.